All right. Today we're going to discuss why whole wheat, why you want to eat whole wheat, and why it's healthy to go whole wheat. A lot of people hear that they should eat whole wheat, but they don't necessarily know why. So this presentation is going to go into why you want to be eating whole wheat. So there's three main areas of a wheat kernel, and we're going to go into all three and what each one kind of provides, what health benefits come from them. So this first one on the top here is what we call the bran. It's where almost all the fibers contained, super healthy part of the kernel. Um, one of the main things is because it reduces risks for heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. We definitely want to get a lot of that bran in or that fiber in every single day. So very important part of the kernel you want to have that. That's that outer layer. Then the bottom part right here is the germ. Now with the name germ, you might think it's a bad thing to be eating because our understanding of the word germ is always kind of had a bad connotation but in this case it's actually really good because the germ contains tons of vitamins and minerals it's where almost all the vitamins and minerals are contained it's kind of where the the whole kernel and plant starts to grow and sprout from so they're just packed down in there very 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 healthy part of the kernel the other section right here in the middle is kind of what's get what gets ground up into that fine flour it's called the endosperm now the endosperm isn't necessarily all that great because it has little vitamins and minerals. Not too healthy. Um, if that just eaten alone in and of itself, it just turns into sugar really quickly into your system. Um, doesn't provide much nutrition. So why do you want to get whole wheat? Well the main reason is because when it goes through the milling process, you miss out on the bran and the germ, which means you miss out on both important aspects of reducing risk for heart disease, cancer and diabetes, and you're missing out on tons of vitamins and minerals. You're just left with the endosperm where you have little vitamins and minerals. So that's basically if you're going white bread, white pasta, um, anything that's refined as far as a grain, a lot of cereals, almost all the cereals are white. Um, they don't have the whole kernel or the whole grain um, in it. So really not that healthy at all. You're missing out on the two healthiest parts um, after it goes through that milling process and strips them from the kernel. So definitely not something you want to do. So we want to stay away from that. We want to keep those healthy parts. So that's why we really want to make sure that we're going whole wheat with everything. You always want to see the word whole. The way you're going to know if you're getting a whole kernel or the whole wheat that basically means whenever you see the word whole, you're getting all three and all the benefits. You're not missing out on the brand or the germ. Very important to get all those benefits. So the way you can know if you're getting whole wheat is you have to see the word whole. If they advertise on a packaging that it is 100% whole wheat, it has to have all three. Also, the best way is to just turn the product around, look at the ingredients list. If you see whole wheat or whole oat, whole grain, anything as the first ingredient, you know you're getting all three of these and all the benefits that come from it. So very important to be going whole grain. 